St. Louis to watch him skate at the national championships. Well, Evelyn is here inside the Savas Center, along with Roheen's nephew, Ramir, celebrating his 10th birthday today. State Farm, the title sponsor of this event, heard about this so story, heard us tell it the other night on TV, on ESPN, too, and, and they ponied up the money, they, and they said, we've got to get her here. Uh, it's a great story, lovely. and it's our secret. I, I mean, he doesn't know a thing about it. He has no idea that his mom is here in the Savas Center watching him today. That's going to be such an emotional moment uh. when they get together. He's got five sisters and a brother in a tough part of town, Minneapolis, and, and he's talked often about how, how skating is kept him away, kept him away from the gangs in that area and kept him straight. He was on the bus every day to go to the rink and practice his first set of skates, his first pair of skates. His mom got those from a Salvation Army, and they were five sizes too big. He didn't care. He, he went out every day. But, you know, it's very interesting that he comes from the background that he does in a world that probably has very little culture, but yet he is loaded with our artistry, with creative form, with flexibility, as well as an extraordinarily te technical merit. I mean, it's just a wonderful combination of things. I think he's got a great future ahead and, of him. And, Kurt, you talk to different skaters who watch him and coaches who watch him just in practice when he comes these events and they do say he can do certain things oh, that, that, that other skaters can't. just can't do he's one of those skaters that can impress the audience that knows nothing about figure skating with his wild back bend and his cool spins big jumps but the skater knows that he is good they can see it representing the bramer city of lakes figure skating club in edina minnesota how about a warm welcome now for roheen ward And a great reception from the crowd here. They know his story as well. It is not his first trip to the Nationals. He really has not been able to put it together on this stage. And he's talked about it. He gets nervous, he says. Now he's skating for himself. Or at least his mindset coming in is that he's going to go out there. He's not going to worry about others' Favorite expectations. Son. <laughs> Favorite son. <laughs> well, if you're a skating fan, don't go anywhere. This kid's amazing. His opening combination, quad toe, triple toe, worth possibly 14 or 15 points, and the best one in the competition. You know, he's had that problem several times now, and he just has not come to... And the problem is that he's really beautifully positioned on it. He's got great, great athletic ability. Halfway through it, I already had written a check mark down. Oh, he popped that. Oh, and then doubled that. Well, I think what happened there is his heart broke halfway through that second jump. I just have to say, if we could have just marked the five or six minute warm up, he'd be on the Olympic team. But as both of you gentlemen know, and as, as Sasha Cohen has found out in the past, it doesn't matter what you do in practice. Absolutely. But you, you, you know that in practice all the way through this, I've noticed that he pops everything. He pops consistently through it, just always popping. You've got to get over that habit. You've got to go for it and land or fall. One or the other. You can't pop things. You've got to get out of it. Look at there. He's popping again. Popping, turning a triple toe into a double toe. We've talked him up all week. We're all excited about his future in the sport. What I think we can do for the next couple of minutes is sort of put, put it behind us. Let's just enjoy this kid's talent. If you can.
something blocking him there that allows him to pop one after another of these jumps. No, it's just simply the wheels have fallen off and they're still in center ice and the music's still playing. In the women's event, the spiral sequence is a required element. The men do not have one. This will give him points in the transition moves. Here's a Charlotte stop. First time I ever see a man do it and do it well. Well, nobody gives a hug better than your mom, and I think... She's gonna need it. She's gonna need it. He <laughs> hasn't lost his sense of humor. <laughs> Chalk up one big, long learning experience. Well, I hope that that's all that it is, because the problem is unless he corrects these problems right now, not next week, not tomorrow, but right now, the next time he is on the ice, he will not ever get over these problems. We've seen it too many times where great athletes come in and simply cannot make it under pressure. They've got to learn that issue. So his mom said, my poor son, well, she'll see him in a few minutes, and he'll need it. Roheen Ward will check his marks when we come back. We're going to take a look at what happens when something goes wrong on the best quad in the business, or at least in this competition. Right there, it looks great. The quad has a certain look to it. The explosion was there. He's looking pretty good in the air. I did a mental check mark. This kid's on his way. Bam. Didn't make it all the way around. You can see the blade gets stuck. The body wants to keep going. The blade wants to stop. Right there, you can see it. The blade's cutting into the ice. And the, like a, the body, the momentum, the weight passes past it. And you are on the ice. Boy, that is super terribly slow motion. Paige Leip has been his longtime coach, but he has started working with uh, Robin Wagner on the left side of the screen there, who was the coach of Sarah Hughes, of course. And, and you think it's a technique problem. They've got to change that right now. I, I think it's a mental problem. I think it's a technique problem. I think it's an attitude problem. Always in these practices, you see him popping jumps one after the other. You can't do that. You get into the habit of popping the jump. Either do it or don't. You're right. And fall if you have to. Mm -hmm. But don't pop. Then that becomes a habit. And those are impossible to break. 154-63. Bad habits. Sorry, Terry. But I was going to say bad habits get bigger in the in the big moment. Good habits get small. Magnified. Yeah. They get magnified. It's got a surprise in a couple minutes, though. 